What's up? I just want to give you a quick heads up. When I'm talking in this clip, my voice is distorted, so I want to make sure you're able to adjust the volume for your ears or whatever, make sure they don't hurt. But the conversation is too good for you not to hear it, so we went ahead and made the clip anyway. This is from episode four of No Labels Necessary. The future episodes are just fine audio-wise. Check this out. The information is too good to miss. This video is just about finesse, but we're going to flip it into marketing because everything is marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Now we trying to get richer. You got to like, like a real family. It's different. Yeah. When you walk in there, they don't I'm even like, want to say you know what. They act like they don't got no watches. Hmm. But you got to like, you got to know shit when you walk in there. Yeah, you, you know, know let's what be you clear. Want. You know, like we're I walked in Richard to get my shit in today. The guy goes to me, huh, you must have connects. Yeah. When I knew I had to connect, and he said, he said, he said to me, in order to get on our list, you got to buy three ladies watches. Exactly. Before you can... So you got to buy... What if I ain't got a lady? Exactly. <laughs> I go to Red Rolling. Red Rolling. Hey, we go to Red Rolling. Come on, let me let me tell you why this thing is is genius. It, it's genius on so many levels. First of all, playing hard to get, we know, is just a common, you know, common marketing strategy. Exclusivity. Hard to get. Yeah, exclusivity. This thing don't get thrown out of anybody. Any can't can't just anybody touch touch it. You know what I mean? That was my yeah. I'll think of something else. But <laughs> the so it's great for exclusivity, cool, hard to get, and then you know obviously if you add a little luxury, the aspirational brand mm -hmm. to it. But the sauce, the biggest sauce, that is twofold. Number one, they said you have to buy three. To be able to get it, you got you got to get on a list. Saying we have a list already says, mm, "Oh, okay, you got a list." Yeah, but you gotta man. buy you gotta buy three to be able to get that thing, all right? Yeah. That, that 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 nice men's piece that is equivalent to the shit the other dudes are flexing. Yeah. Okay, so you already got to give me more money just to give me money. Yeah, I, I turned it into a prize. I gamified, all right? Getting my the 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 my peak product, right? Yeah, but then. These fools said you got to get three ladies watches. Like, like Noe said, what if I don't even got no lady? Yeah. Still, hey, go find them. <laughs> you got to get three ladies watches, right? Now, what do we know about women? They like spending money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I ain't trying to get you in trouble. <laughs> that is not what we do about. <laughs> I threw the alley at the wrong basket. Yeah. My. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I was going for <laughs> them as consumers and them as being drivers in the marketplace of yeah. a brand's value. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be my second guess. Right, right, right. <laughs> like, we know that they're going to put it out there heavy, right? And then there's a sense, I can even see a lady be like, man, like, you know, he got me some Richards. How come like my friends got Richards? Mm -hmm. How come you don't got me a Richard? Right? Yeah. And then you also create a club faster. Yeah. Right? Because now you don't just do one purchase. It's multiple. So it's one thing if I said, oh, you got to get four. But I might keep all four to myself. Yeah. But dang, I'm not going to wear the women's watch. So I'm going to get them. So now I'm spreading the love. To at least one other person, yeah. right? And you start to build community that way too, yeah. right? There's there's just all these little nuances, man. You can really break that down, but like one, gamifying it, exclusivity, and then finding a way to leverage women, which we know are the primary influencer in most market spaces. Easy, easy, easy. Because like, but I'm but I'm marketing the males. It's, it's a crazy, and we know what male, like males, what they get from women, the gas, the power, and it's, it's kind of a flex too. It's like, oh shoot, you kind yeah. of put me in a good position. If, if this, I don't even think they thought of this, but I always look for brand experiences, right? So, no, I didn't want to buy a woman a watch just for me to get my Richard, right? However, you made me do it. The experience that I got when I gave that woman a watch, though, 
damn, I fuck with this brand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I now have a memory, a good positive feeling for this. So I'm getting equity beyond that last prize, which is the watch that I came for in the first place. There, there's, there's so many ways to slice that stuff, man. And if you can figure out how you can build narrative story or just different experience around your product, especially for artists, like this is obviously a watch, but when you can offer actual product, which I think more and more artists are going to be doing beyond their music and create an experience like that around it. So it starts to feel like a community. Yeah, man. Like that, that's what I love about this. Right? That's really, what I love about it's this. It's basically a paid referral program. It's a paid referral program. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> give me some money. So you have the right to give me some more. Yeah. Which is crazy. Cause now it's thinking about it, it's like, man, if you see somebody with it, you know, by now knowing like, oh, they went through that process, like, you really got money, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You didn't just, you weren't able to just afford that. You afford it for, like you said, at least one other person, possibly up to four, you know what I'm saying? I think the you life really, you live. bro, you just nailed it. Yeah. Because that scene is that type of watch. Yeah. That's why it's in the records and stuff. Yeah. And imagine being somebody who knows, right, in general, like, and you're like, Man, they really got money that they they went through that process. But imagine like when you first see the flex and you start to hear about it, like, dang, I want a Richard. Like I see these people, the Richards, those are kind of hot. And then you just go unknowingly, yeah. and you hit that experience, yep. and you're like, dang, they did that. Yep. To get that. <laughs> this is what it's like. So then you your mind gets blown. But I've gone to to places, and I expect to pay five dollars, and they'd be like ten dollars. And I'm like, yeah, nah, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> it's, it's not even that I don't have the money. Sometimes it's just the expectations. Like, I expected to pay $5. I wasn't ready for $10. Yeah. Let me come back in like a with few a, days. With a $10 mentality. Yeah, with a $10. I wasn't ready for that yet. You know what I mean? I remember I went to a place that, and I had been wanting to go for a minute. And I was with my, my, uh, my girl, and we pulled up. And then they had valet and all this stuff. And that, and that was the only way to get in. I wasn't ready for valet. I wasn't in that mindset for a place that was only ready for valet. I could only do that. I just wasn't in that mindset. So I was like, nah, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll come back. And you know, I went back. It's not like I couldn't or I can't afford it. Even at that point, it's just that that gap, it changes how you see everything. Yeah. Right? It changes your perspective. So like, if I walked in for a richer and it was like, dang, I came in for one, but I got to buy four, basically. Yeah. Total? Tch- <laughs> yeah. yeah and i think too it, it kind of speaks on like the overall experience right it's like they i don't know man i don't know if they thought of it this way if it's a part of psychology but it's like we're gonna start you off with like these two barriers of negative um negative experiences right first one being you got to find out you gotta have the connections to get this shit which is mm-hmm. part of pain now you calling around talking to people trying to see who on your circle can get me onto this wait list right and you gotta wait and then you do all that waiting just to find out damn i gotta buy three of these to get one, right? So like you have these back to back to back negative experiences for it to end with, like you said, one, you probably had a positive experience having to give it to the women you had to give it to. Even if it's, you know, like like platonic, like you gave it to your mom or something. Like mm-hmm. your mom's response to it is probably gonna be crazy, right? Yeah. And then you walk away there with the ultimate benefit of it, the status symbol, you know what I'm saying? So it's like at the end you feel like, like you you fought this journey, you know what I'm saying? You hiked this mountain and then you were at the top and it was all worth it, right? You don't even remember or even care anymore about like, then I was on this wait list for X amount of months. Then I had to call 50 people just to get connected to this random dude in, in New York or whatever <laughs> that could get me on. Damn, I just had to drop however much, uh, you know what I'm saying, tens of thousands of dollars because like, like they push you to the, the, the positive point. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. they got you there. It's like a horror house almost. Like, you're scared all the way in the end. <laughs> you go through the gift shop, you get a cool t shirt. You're like, man, it was fun. You know what I'm saying? It was terrible while I was in there. That shit was fun. Like, like, what? <laughs> was it? Was it really fun? It'd be like that with my daughter sometimes. I'm like, dang, but she sure don't look like she enjoying this. And then at the end of the night, she's like, oh, and somebody would be like, oh, how was it? And she was like, that was fun. I was like, you had fun? <laughs> I did, I, my, your energy did not give me fun energy. But you use the word forget. Yeah. Never underestimate the power of a human to forget, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like you give them a new experience so quickly do they adjust. We adapt mm-hmm. to the new experience, man. Home- homeostasis where I was just living in this house, right? You in the new house for a month and it feel like you've been there forever. So people wonder why 
you can have a news cycle and something's hot on an artist, right? It seems yeah. like they about to go under what's going on with Kanye right now. Don't be surprised if people forget in a year's time, especially, and Kanye's not moving just as how he, how he was. Yeah. Because we forget our own experiences. Oh, you work in that job. I remember I was working this job. If I think back, it felt like I worked for a year, but I was only working there three months. It was a deadbeat job when I was in college. And once I got out of that experience, things, gone. it was gone, man. <laughs> gone. Never happened, bro. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe it under the rug. So, so yeah, man. Um, like that. That is actually like that last domino in in, in the scenario you just said, man. That forgetting is powerful. He's like, yeah, you go through that pain, but boy, <laughs> she, once you get to the top of that mountain, boy, <sighs> that rush of adrenaline. <laughs> And you don't even you don't realize it. They kind of did you dirty, bro. You kind of yeah. got finessed this whole way. You scarred, you beat up, you're bleeding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got open wounds. Like, I got it. Like, what they call it? Uh, not imposter syndrome. <sighs> What's the one? A war wound? No, the one when you're you're in prison and you start to love the people who are in prison. You. Uh, I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the word for it. That's it, what that is. Yeah, it is that. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, bro. That's really exactly what it is. That's what it is, man. They they playing with it, so. Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm. There, there we, we go. go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Appreciate you watching. Fun fact, every time you soak up one of these gems, you get a little bit smarter from these clips. So if you want to be a gem seeker, collect all the gems, keep watching. I'll see you in the next clip.